<laughs> I think we can understand all that. I mean, it's not just the time, a lot of money. According to the American Pet Products Association, owners spent almost $63 billion on their furry friends last year. But are we really providing them with the best care? Sometimes those dollars don't always translate. Well, Indie Vets Dr. James Spicer is here with the top mistakes that we as pet owners tend to make. That's right. So, pet owners do make common mistakes. We're going to yeah. talk about five of them right now. Okay. Number one, yeah. not having and taking your pet for regular veterinary care and assessment. Mm. You know, they can't talk to us, so they can't tell us symptoms that would detect early problems. So consequently, these things go unnoticed, undetected, right. and they become chronic. But if we take them for regular care, we would notice these things and be able to take care of the, them early. The tendency, I'll, I'll be honest, for me is unless they're showing, you know, I'll do the, the yearly checkup, but unless there's some other unless issue, they act I'm not, you know, Ill, you yeah. don't take them. Right. Regular veterinary checkup pays huge dividends for longevity. Okay, all right. Problem number two yes. we overfeed and overtreat our pets. Obesity is a huge problem in veterinary medicine, mm -hmm. and it leads to diabetes, orthopedic diseases, liver diseases, and, and whatnot. So how should we feed our pets? You should know an ideal weight for your pet, and then what we need to do is we need to actually weigh out mm -hmm. the amount of food to maintain that ideal weight. So how do you weigh your pet? Right. Get a scale, weigh yourself, pick up your pet, Weigh and Maybe. subtract. Unless and you've got a 120 pound dog. Well, yeah. <laughs> and your okay. scale doesn't go that high. Fair but I enough. hear what you're saying here. And uh, is, let me ask you this real yeah. quick while we're on the subject of food. Is it, does it make, is it better to feed your dog or your cat all at once in the morning or twice during the day? Twice a day. That's the healthiest way twice to do it. Twice a day is the best way to do it. And the guidelines on the pet food bags are just that guidelines. You may have to feed a little bit okay. more, a little bit less to maintain that okay, ideal so weight. Okay, so that's the food. Problem number three, mistake mm -hmm. number three, we don't exercise our pets enough. Mm. Take your dog out, throw the frisbee, throw a ball, um, go for a walk, put the leash on, go for a walk, get a laser toy and play with your, play with your kid. Yeah, the cats like that, don't they? Exercise is a number one uh, way to maintain good My health. My dog is really good at fetch, but he's really bad at bringing it back. He knows well, that part of it. Then but that's good exercise for okay. you then, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, so mistake four. Mistake four, not taking care of your dog's or cat's teeth. That's cats, a big one. Yeah, this is huge. And cats are as bad or worse than dogs. So the point is, is that bad teeth, uh, gingivitis, periodontitis, mm -hmm. tooth loss, all leads to poor nutrition because they don't eat so well and can also lead to bacterial meningitis, septic arthritis, valvular heart disease, kidney disease. So it's very, very important. So what do we do? Mm -hmm. Brush the teeth. Ugh. Okay? Even if Is you Rosie good the, about this? She's not too bad. I mean, she, she's not but a big dog to even, fight you. Even if you do it once a week, it's better than not doing it at all. And if you can't brush your dog's teeth, or your cat's teeth, you can use a product such as this that you put in the water that substantially reduces the bacterial count in the mouth and really, really helps. Last point, medicines. Last point, don't share medications. So many times people give aspirin, mm -hmm. ibuprofen, tums. Tylenol, these things that are innocuous to us yep. but are very toxic to our pets. You give a cat a Tylenol, you're likely to kill them. Mm. A couple of ibuprofen, uh, to a dog, very, very toxic. So don't, if you don't know, don't go. These are mistakes, please don't make them. Absolutely. Dr. Spicer, thank you. IndyVet Emergency and Specialty Hospital, if you'd like a list of their services or educational opportunities, you have those. We've got a link for you at fox59.com. Rosie, good job as always. Dr. Spicer, <laughs> thank you. Thank